Hello students! Welcome to your very first virtual symposium. This is Self-Love. Now, before a person is able to practice self-love, first, we need to understand what self-love means. Self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself that grows from actions that support our physical, psychological, and spiritual growth. Self-love is more than just wearing nice clothes and applying tons of expensive makeup and then claiming that you love yourself. Self-love can mean something different for each person because we all have many different ways to take care of ourselves. For some people, self-love means having a high regard for your own well-being and happiness. For others, it can mean taking care of your own needs and not sacrificing your well-being to please others. Self-love can also mean not settling for less and starting to get what they deserve. Self-love is an umbrella term for different acts of love we perform toward ourselves physically and non-physically. Figuring out what self-love looks like for you as an individual is an important part of your mental health. Learning how to love yourself and practicing self-love takes a lot of time and effort, and it is only best that you start loving yourself now that you are still young. Why don't we start with simple things like this? Let us find out what self-love can mean to you as a student. 1. Talking to and about yourself with love. 2. Prioritizing yourself and your studies more than the pressure of bad influence. 3. Giving yourself a break from self-judgment and making it a goal to better yourself. 4. Is trusting yourself with doing all the school works and making decisions alone. 5. Being true to who you really are. 6. Setting healthy boundaries like staying active and limiting yourself from eating unhealthy food. Self-love means accepting yourself as you are in this very moment for everything that you are. It means accepting your emotions for what they are and putting your physical, emotional, and mental well-being first. Self-love comprises of four aspects. 1. Self-awareness. 2. Self-worth. 3. Self-esteem. And 4. Self-care. If one is missing, then you do not entirely have self-love. To have it, we should be aligned with these four aspects. Self-awareness is being aware of your thought processes, your thoughts, how they affect your emotions, and how emotions cause you to act. Are you aware of the thoughts that make you feel angry and make you act impulsively? Where are they coming from? Why do they cause you to act the way that you do? Self-awareness is the key to emotional intelligence. Being emotionally intelligent does not mean that you let out your emotions as needed as possible. It means you are aware why you are feeling that emotion and why you need to let it out. Just like in science lessons, we cannot create or destroy energy. We can only explore or hide potentials. Therefore, self-worth is the beliefs we have about ourselves, and we often struggle to believe in ourselves. Self-worth lies in all the good things about you. We all have something good in us. If you are struggling to find your self-worth, just think of or try to remember all the good and right things you have done in your life, or all the things that people like your friends and family appreciate about you. Self-esteem comes from self-worth, and it deals with three factors. One, how we were loved as children. Two, the accomplishments of the people in our age group. And three, how well we have accomplished compared to our elders. Self-esteem has everything to do with being content and comfortable with who you are, where you are, and what you have. If you do want self-esteem, improve your self-worth. 
Self-worth is the realization that we are valuable regardless of what we have achieved or the qualities we may have. Self-esteem is more tied to our qualities and achievements. Self-care is all about the acts we do to keep ourselves healthy, like taking a bath, eating a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and doing the things that we love like listening to music or watching the television. Compared to other aspects of self-love, self-care is easier to do. So now we know that self-love motivates you to make healthy choices in life. And now that we know that we are making better decisions, let us find out some of the ways on how we can practice self-love. 1. Becoming Mindful People who have more self-love tend to know what they think, feel, and want. 2. Taking actions based on need rather than want By staying focused on what you need, you turn away from automatic behavior patterns that get you into trouble, keep you stuck in the past, and lessen self-love. 3. Practicing good self-care You will love yourself more when you take better care of your basic needs. People high in self-love nourish themselves daily through healthy activities like exercising, eating, and sleeping properly. Lastly, making room for healthy habits. Start truly caring for yourself by reflecting that in what you eat, how you exercise, and what you spend time doing. Do stuff not just to get it done or because you have to, but because you care about you. Again, practicing self-love is not easy as it requires dedication, effort, and time. But finally, loving yourself has no starting time or a deadline. It will never be too late to love yourself. So, why not start now?